enthusiasm that we bring to the table. Yeah. Um, yeah, do we, have, do we have slides on the big screen? Yes, there we go. Uh, CSSConf, welcome. Hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, I am Tim. I'm an Australian, uh, kind of been floating around in the scene for a little while. I'm super happy to be here and kind of get the energy going. <laughs> I'm Jessica. I'm an American. Um, I'm not in any scene. But I like floating. <laughs> Give me one of these. OK. Uh, so CSS Conf is so big. It's the biggest one ever. Um, we, we kind of found all the big family photos. We're going to take a family photo at the end of the day. Uh, but I just thought we'd show you the previous ones. And you can just kind of see how much it's grown and, and how, what it's become. So this is 2013. 2014. 2015. Uh, and you can see like a lot of familiar faces in there. Uh, 2016, we didn't have one, uh, but there was CSS Conf Budapest. Woo! Oh, there's some love in the crowd there. Uh, CSS Conf Argentina. Oops. <laughs> yes. Um, CSS Conf Nordic in Oslo. Yeah. Woo! Uh, so 2017, we've got a few new things. Uh, we have childcare, which is incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we've got this baby's already more intelligent than I am. Trust me. Um, yeah, so we have childcare. We have a quiet room uh, as well. Live captioning. All of the talks are going to be live captioned in real time. Yeah, I think my accent is not too bad. We can we can get that through there. Uh, yeah. We also have a code of conduct, of course. Uh, and the, the official kind of statement there is be excellent to each other. If you have any problems, uh, you know, reach out to us or any of the organizers, and we'll get that sorted. Oh, OK. So if you've been to other CSS comps, JS comps before, you might notice we are in a brand new venue this year, Arena Hall. And oh, and this is where it is in the city. This is where you are right now, yeah. in case you <laughs> just woke up. <laughs> If someone asks you later. Um, and so this amazing building was built in 1927-28. And at the time, it was the largest like, free span in all of Europe. And it was built to house buses <laughs> for the transit company. And I thought this was really cool, because the bus was also the world's largest bus at the time. This is the 1927 double-decker. and. So they would fill this whole space with the buses and clean them and store all of the buses here. We've come a long way. <laughs> I feel like if it was built in 1927 in Australia, I would not want to be under the roof. But considering it's German, it's going to be here forever. Um, OK, so we have a ton of good sponsors. Uh, you can see all their booths out there. I really advise checking it out. There's really, really good stuff. they got a lot going on. <laughs> and we have a schedule today. It's not just us talking. We have some amazing speakers. It looks real lit, y'all. <laughs> and the way it's going to work is there's going to be two talks, then coffee, then three talks, then lunch, then three talks, then coffee, then three talks, then party. <laughs> you got it? You can go to the website and check the schedule, too, and keep up. Uh, so at this point in, in the MC presentations, we kind of looked through the previous ones, and uh, there was Jed, and there was Nick, and there was a ton of puns, and a lot of CSS puns, and they were really good, and I don't know if you get this thing when you try to do puns, but whenever anybody says one, you're like, oh, that was really good, and I can't use that now. And I just think we're kind of done. They're, they're all kind of through. Uh, so I kind of wanted to do something different. Uh, and we, we kind of discussed back and forth of what we're going to do, and we kind of came up with, with something that we've called the CSS Conf Party Pack, hashtag CSS Conf Party Pack, trademark, patent pending. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so one of the amazing things about this event, about JS Conf, and this whole week of events is the community, right? This is such an amazing community. There's so much going on. Um, we really like being together with everyone, um, but maybe you don't have a community. Maybe you work remote. 
and you really want oh, that feeling. <laughs> so, I don't know, if, if anybody has kind of knows me and has seen the things that I do, I kind of like to do this thing that I call bad cop development, where you take a good thing and you make it bad, and you learn from it. Uh, and I've been working from home uh, the last kind of couple of years, and one thing that I've kind of missed uh, is passive-aggressive office notes. Uh, and this is kind of like, whenever I find a note in my house, it's me that left it to me. Oh, you left the banana out. Good one. Uh, so I kind of wanted to bring this back into, back into my life. So I made a passive-aggressive office simulator Slack bot. It's going to keep everyone kind of going. Uh, and it's very intelligent. It's very uh, well-fed with real live data. Don't forget the ergonomics lunch later on. What's the ergonomics lunch? We're not going to go to that. Uh, this is the third time this year we've had to buy new forks for the office. Please don't take these home. They're for everyone. I actually have to buy forks every couple of years. Uh, and it kind of remembers things as well. So it'll be like, whoever left the yogurt in the fridge, please remove it. And you're kind of sitting there and you forget about it. And then a couple of weeks later, it'll be like, well, it looks like no one removed the yogurt. Classic <laughs> office life. You can get it today. tholman.com, office slash simulator. <laughs> All right, so not only do we benefit from excellent German engineering in this amazing space, but we benefit from German design and things like Bauhaus that are incorporated today in all kinds of design and typography. And so what could be a really good way to tr tribute <laughs> great German so, design? Everybody here really appreciates design. That's a big part of CSS. Uh, and of course, I'm kind of, again, in this mindset of, uh, of bad cop development. So I've created something called Smellvetica. And anybody with any sense is going to start feeling uncomfortable at the kerning in this Helvetica. Uh, you can actually install this on your machine, and this is what it looks like. Or someone else's machine. Here's Tumblr. Oh, I can hear some, <laughs> the babies are crying, <laughs> the children are screaming. You can get it today, tholman.com slash smellvetica. You can download this. It's a really simple install. There's instructions. Get it on your friends. Get it on everyone's machine. Smellvetica is the future. <laughs> All right, and so we also know that CSS has come a long way, and people have done amazing games and animations, created animation libraries, and really great code pen examples of s these silky smooth animations. Uh, How we have, can we do that? Yeah, we have a lot of people uh, that are going to talk about animations and things like this as well, and it's super exciting. And of course, I'm the party pooper. Uh, so CSS Comp Party Pack, I have created something that I call obnoxious.css. <laughs> Obnoxious.css is the future, apart from Smovetica. And it's kind of like a take on Dan Eden's animate.css, except the animations are very, very, very good. <laughs> Obnoxious.css, Obnoxious.css, Obnoxious. This one's called Shake It. <laughs> Let's just wait. Let's just wait it out. There's, an, there's plenty of good ones. Intensifies. <laughs> this is really going to get your audience going, trust me. Fontalicious. Oh, that one got some hate. I didn't even know you could animate fonts until the other day. Uh, yeah, there's some that might cause epileptic fits, so we're going to skip those out. Uh, anyway, get it today, tholman.com slash obnoxious. Uh, and you can, of course, see all of the party pack at tholman.com slash cssconfpartypack. Get it today. <laughs>